This is video two in a four-part series that explains farm debt mediation in New South Wales. Hello, I'm a farm debt mediator. In this video, we look at how to prepare for a farm debt mediation. If you prepare well, the mediation will be more effective. There are checklists and worksheets on the Rural Assistance Authority's website to help you prepare. If you don't prepare well, it may not be possible to reach an agreement because the right information isn't available or there isn't time to think about whether a particular idea or option will work. If you are a lender or a farmer and you receive an invitation to mediate, it's important you get advice, respond promptly, make contact with the Rural Assistance Authority and start preparing for the mediation. To decide whether mediation is right for you, you can speak to a Rural Financial Counsellor or the New South Wales Rural Assistance Authority. Or you can speak to your lawyer or accountant. Mediation is usually a good option because you have the chance to speak face to face with a senior representative from your lender. A mediator is skilled at helping people to have effective conversations about difficult issues. If you decide to proceed with mediation, you need to return the forms provided within 20 business days. Okay, so for effective mediation, you should have all the relevant information and documents available, including a map or photo of the property, cash flow, budgets, asset valuations, your current financial position, marketing plans, and tax returns for several years. There is a worksheet about preparing for mediation on the Rural Assistance Authority website. Ted, when we go to mediation, we need to be prepared with several options. This gives you the chance to have some control over the outcome. If the lender says option A isn't acceptable, we have to work through option B and possibly an option C. In order to present feasible options, we need to provide an overview of the situation now. Understanding liabilities and identifying assets which you may want to draw on. We'll list liabilities and assets on a spreadsheet. Before the mediation, speak to your advisors about what you can reasonably achieve and what you believe the lender is looking for. Try to be realistic about the situation. Lenders are not required to reduce the debt owing or to continue the business relationship. The mediator will encourage you and your advisors to think about whether the agreement will be durable and workable. So, what options would work for you and what do you think would be acceptable for the lender? I also want to talk to you about what happens if you can't reach an agreement with your lender. When you reach agreement and mediation, there is a two week cooling off period. So you have the option to pull out of an agreement if you don't think it'll work. But you should be aware there is additional costs if you choose to do so. After the mediation, the lender can obtain a certificate which allows them to recover the debt or take enforcement action if you break the agreement reached at mediation. The Rural Assistance Authority will consider the mediator's report and comments from the farmer before issuing a certificate. There is a right of appeal to the authority about a certificate being issued, and a court appeal may be an option too, but you should seek legal advice before making this decision, as you could incur significant legal costs. If you have questions about preparing for farm debt mediation, please call the New South Wales Rural Assistance Authority, or talk to a rural financial counsellor, your accountant or lawyer. <laughs>